Good morning everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is my first full week back after my vacation, so there's a lot that needs to be done. So I'm going to take you along and show you what a typical week in my life looks like. Of course the tasks change from week to week. This is just one of those weeks where there's a little bit of a lot of different things that's going to happen. Hi guys, my name's Trisha. I'm the owner of a small handmade hair accessories business called Golden Wattle Designs. And, and in addition, I also film content. My first order of business today is to get a couple of orders packed. I just reopened the shop on Friday night. There's not much stock in the shop. It's fairly bare, so I'm really grateful for every single order that comes in. I'm going to take you along. I've got two. One is a beautiful repeat customer. She bought something at a local market and actually has gone ahead and purchased a couple more pieces. Those are my wire headbands. She loves them and it really fills my heart with so much joy to hear that people enjoy the products that I put so much of effort and love into making. So I'll take you along while I pack those orders. That one's a domestic order and there's one going all the way to Maine in the USA. I've never had an order go to Maine before, so I'm quite excited about this one. morning everyone I didn't really get back on camera yesterday so yesterday consisted of doing a little bit of a restock as well as listing some of the new winter headbands that we got done before going away these are the three winter headbands that are on the Etsy shop at the moment once this gorgeous gray and pink you've probably seen these being made in the previous videos then we've got the buffalo plaid in two colors. One's a white and black and one's a red and black and they're both gorgeous. Both of these are, are thicker than the regular cotton fabrics. They're perfect for winter. They keep your ears nice and warm on those cold days. I've got these three listed on the Etsy shop at the moment with a few more winter ones uh, still to come. But I'm not going to make any more stock today. I've got two other huge tasks that I need to take care of. One is get the video ready for tonight's upload and uh, second, I have to deal with my fabric situation. My craft room is really small and before we went away, I was in a mad rush to get everything done. So I just pulled fabric off my shelf and made my products with it. But silly me didn't take the time to go and stack things back which brings me to another issue that I've had my fabric storage is not working out for me so what I've decided to do is I've decided to toy around with an idea I'll show the process I'll share the process with you a little later today but before I get to that um, I really need to give the studio room a thorough clean and a vacuum I've got bits of thread everywhere from the crazy production day that we had before leaving and uh, it's a bit of a hurricane stricken room right now if I'm not careful enough when I get in there I'll definitely trip over something there's hardly any floor space <laughs> visible there's no wiggle room so first order of business after I'm done editing and uploading the video is to get started with uh, uh, with my my little spare bedroom that I call my studio and if it goes to plan I'll share a glimpse of it with you once I'm done tidying in there right now there's no place for me let alone a tripod and a camera so we're going to get that done and 
yeah, once that's done, another thing that I want to do is I'm I'm thinking of running a little sale in the Etsy shop. Let's see, I haven't decided on it 100%, but what I'm thinking of doing is the wire headbands with the original wire. Those of you who've been around will know that I've switched up my wire that I use for my wire headbands. The new and improved wire is so much better. But that being said, the old wire was pretty great too. I've used headbands made with that old wire for so long now and customers have bought them everyone's been happy with them i've had no complaints but with business you've got to look to getting better not just with your practices and processes but also with your product and this new wire has really leveled up my game with the wire headbands so i'm happy i made the switch but i'm still left with a few Quite a few of the headbands that use the old wire. I don't want to get things confused so I've kept them in two separate lots. So what I'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of running a little bit of a sale on only the headbands that use the uh, that use the old wire. So if you want to stock up on a few of those it, this would be a great opportunity. They're never going to be at this price again. I'm just trying to make space because I know the next few months are going to be absolutely chaotic in the run-up to Christmas. I can't believe we're at that half year mark already and before I know it, literally in the blink of an eye, things are going to go from zero to 60. So, yep, it's a great time to tidy that room, get it ready for the next few months. So yeah, that's the plan for today. I'm gonna to finish off my cup of coffee and um, start with editing the video. You'll have already seen it. It's my fabric haul and there's lots of new, absolutely gorgeous fabrics in there. Um, if you haven't seen that yet, I'll leave a link to that video um, somewhere over here as well as in the description box below. Go ahead and check that out after you're done with this one and um, I'll see you soon when I'm ready to share my little organization project with you. Hi guys, so I managed to make a little headway in the craft room. You can now see the floor space. It's not 100% done, but I think it's about that time where I move on to organizing my fabric. I've got to find space for all that fabric that, we, that I've just purchased. So here's what I was thinking. Originally, I was going to purchase some foam board or core flute or something like that, a little more sturdy than the regular cardstock to wrap my fabric around but I went and I priced that at Spotlight and it was too expensive. I think each sheet was like nine bucks and sure I would have got about maybe six or eight pieces of board per sheet but I think that was a little too pricey. I also considered purchasing packs of uh, pre-cut board online but that also would have ended up costing some amount of money considering how much fabric I've got at the moment and in the past I did consider getting those bolt inserts from Spotlight but then again I am space poor so those were really broad those would have taken up a lot more space in my little storage unit a couple of days ago, my brilliant husband came up with this plan. He said, why don't we get those inserts and cut them down so that they don't have to be as thick. I'll show you what I mean. So these are the little fabric um, bolt inserts that you get at Spotlight. And I think they pretty much, if you ask them, they'll just give them to you. So you see how these are so wide, they would take up a lot of space in the room. So what I've decided to do is cut these down to size so that it fits in my cube storage unit and wrap the fabric around it then. So I should end up getting a few out of every single insert and I didn't have to pay anything for this. Sure, it'll take me a little more time because I've got to cut them down, but that's something I can do pretty easily and shouldn't be too much of a stretch.
Okay, so that was the first one that I rolled. I'm quite happy with how these are turning out. They serve the purpose. No one's going to look at the edges. No one's going to know. It's going to make my life a whole lot easier. So let's continue and get the rest of these done. I'm going to start with the fabrics that tend to have a mind and a life of their own. So all the satins, the jerseys, all the kind of stuff, the rayons that will slip and move easily. I'm going to start with that and see how many boards I have till I can get my next lot made.
morning everyone it's been a couple of days since i've had an opportunity to pick up the camera and uh, i have managed to capture a few bits and pieces of me sort of organizing the fabric cutting down the boards to the size that i want and wrapping the fabric around them but i have soon discovered that that's going to take a little more time because i know that those inserts that i bought seemed like they would I knew they would not cover all of the fabric that I have, but I thought they'd go a little further than they actually did. So I'm waiting to make another one to spotlight and see if they've got any more of those inserts that they can um, help me out with. In the meanwhile, I need to get back to making up a few products for the market this weekend, as well as to list in the online shop. For those of you who don't know, uh, yet if you're not following me on Instagram you wouldn't know but I'm running a sale in my Etsy shop so all of the wire headbands with the original wire all of that is at a 35% discount and uh, that brings the price of those headbands down to under $15 so if you're looking to stock up this is a great opportunity all right with that done like I was saying there's a few things that I need to Mm, get on top of now you've probably seen these memes going around you know buying craft supplies and actually using them to separate hobbies that's how I feel because some of these bits and pieces I picked up months and months ago before last Christmas but with the mad rush of markets and how busy everything got I haven't had the chance to work with these bits and pieces till now that's a whole six months later so probably even more for some of them so one by one i am going to tackle all those little bits and pieces that have been sitting in the craft room occupying space doing absolutely nothing um, i'm going to start off with that today the first thing that i'm going to start off with is a new line of products this is let me show you I think it was before last Christmas that I, yeah, I think November, October, probably November or so that I picked up these fabrics. These are toweling, this is toweling material and not just any toweling fabric, this is microfiber toweling fabric. And you've probably already guessed, I'm going to whip up some microfiber towel scrunchies. I can't tell you how soft and how really nice they feel. And... I think there's a black, I've got a black around somewhere as well. There were four colors that I picked up. So I'm going to start off with whipping up some of these towel scrunchies. I'm going to have to play around with the size because this material is, as you can imagine, these are a lot thicker than regular scrunchie fabrics. So I'm going to have to play around with the size just a tiny bit and see how it works. So I'm going to go stitch this up, see what it looks like so that I can cut out the rest of the fabric. You guys, I am thrilled. This is what the towel scrunchies look like. It's a little hard to tell on the darker color, but they're really soft. They're comfortable. I'm going to go and cut up the rest of the fabric and stitch them up. I'll show you what they all look like when they're done. And I finally got some new blades as well. So we'll start off by swapping the blade over.
Well, I think it's safe to say that this is going to be a really messy affair, but changing that blade makes a huge difference. So if you've been putting off changing your rotary blade for a while, just go ahead and do it. Do yourself a favor. It makes things so much easier. So I'm just going to give this place a little bit of a cleanup, not too crazy because I've got, I've still got three more colors to cut. I'll give it a thorough clean once all of that is done. It's me, I'm back, and I have a little update on the towel scrunchies. One, it is a lot harder if you just have an entry level sewing machine. The fabric's pretty thick, so it will take a little getting used to. Um, I would love to have an industrial sewing machine someday, but at this point, I'm just gonna have to manage without it. But the good news is, these are ready. They look absolutely gorgeous. They feel fabulous. So we've got, we've got four different colors. This one, which is a black, we've got a gray. Then we have a pink and a white. All of them look really, really cool. I can't wait to see what folks at the market think about it, what you guys think about it, and what customers think about these. I happen to really love them. Now, bear in mind, these don't have as much scrunch as like a satin or one of the lighter fabrics would, purely because the fabric is so thick. What I'm going to do now is take a little break, have a late lunch, and I'm gonna get back and finish off the rest of these. I just thought I'd come here while there's still a remote semblance of daylight outside and show you what these look like and, and proceed from there. So I think I'm gonna end this video right here. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching today's video. And if you enjoyed it or any bit of it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. It helps out a lot. Leave me a comment. Let me know what sort of content you'd like to see from me in the future. I've got a few ideas coming up, but I, I'd love to hear what sort of content you're looking for. So once again, thank you so much for joining me today. I'll see you really soon in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye.